Hi. Yes, it's me again. I'm so sorry for disturbing your reading. I feel like I just disturb you every time that you come in here, but, um, well, I guess first, are, are you enjoying your book right now? That's good. I see it's not the one that I gave you last time, though. Did you finish the Warrior Cats book? Okay. Yeah, well, just let me know when you finish it, because I'd really like to talk to you about it, okay? Okay, cool. Um, well, I'm going around to all of our library regulars, and I'm getting a list of their favorite candies, because we're gonna do a little event on Halloween, and, um, I just want to make sure that I have everyone's, like, favorite foods, um, and candies, and, like, any of their allergies, um, or just, like, any of their other, like, preferences, um, so that I can know. Are you gonna be here for our Halloween event? Maybe? Yeah, well, you should come. It's on, it's on Halloween, and, um, I'm calling it a book, book baking event. Um, it's supposed to be scary, so you can dress up scary if you want, and we're going to be baking recipes from some of our favorite books, and we're also going to be, um, you know, just doing some normal Halloween things like candy sharing. It's kind of supposed to be a play on book burning, because book burning is bad and should be mocked with book baking, which is celebrating literature rather than destroying it. Um, but I don't know if people get it. But that's okay. Um, not everyone needs to get it. Um, do you get it? Okay, thank you. That makes me happy to hear. So, oh, yeah, I can keep my voice down. I'm sorry, I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that there were other people right next to us. Thank you for reminding me. Sometimes I can get a little bit distracted when I'm behind. Uh, focusing on you, I guess. Um, so, first of all, um, do you have any favorite candies? Mm -hmm. I love those. Those are my favorite, too. Okay, and, um, do you have, like, a preference between, like, like, what you just gave was, like, a chocolate, but do you have, like, um, like, other candies that you like that are not chocolate, like, Laffy Taffies, or Jolly Ranchers, or Nerds, or, um, like, um, Suckers, or, um, uh, other candies? Swedish Fish? Mm. You know what, I love those. Those are really good. Those are really good, yeah. Swedish, Swedish Fish. Um, do you like bubble gum? Bubble gum? Bubble gum? You've never had bubble gum? Oh. You don't like chewing? Huh. Interesting. Okay. You don't like chewing? Um, huh? Oh, no, I t I'm taking notes on everyone. It's not, it's not just you, but you are the first person, and you'll probably be the last person today, but, um, I plan on doing it for other people, uh, but most people don't want to talk to me while they're reading, so I'm glad that you are talking to me while you're reading. Um, I like learning about all of the people who come to the library and who are regulars, and you seem like you are always reading something so interesting, and you're such a joy to talk to, and, um, so I never, you know, I never mind wasting some extra ink on taking notes that might not exactly be relevant, um, but I think no chewing is a relevant thing to know about you. You just like sw swallowing? <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't laugh. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, do you have any favorite, like, pastry flavors? 
excellent choice. I love lemon poppy seed. Lemon poppy seed is like blah, so delicious. All right, lemon poppy pop. Do you spell poppy seed with a Y? Okay, poppy. Is poppy seed poppy seed, poppy seed? Is that one word or two words? Pop. It's two. No one. Okay. Lemon poppy seed pastries. All right, and um, do you have any favorite books that like heavily feature um, cooking recipes, food? You like Redwall? I've never met someone else who likes Redwall. That makes me so happy. <laughs> I love Redwall so much. I read it even before I read the Warrior Cats books, um, and I think a little bit after as well, like maybe during, but I love the Redwall books so much. And you're right, they do have a lot of good foods and recipes in there. Okay, Redwall. And any other favorite series? Lord of the Rings classic. Okay. Excellent. And do you have any allergies that I should be aware of? I should be aware of any allergies, um, in case you were thinking I shouldn't be. Soy. Okay. That's very good to know. So you have a soy allergy, and do you have any, like, sensitivities? Okay, so you're just gluten sensitive, but like a little is okay. Okay, I'll try to have as little gluten as possible, but thank you for letting me know. So gluten sensitive. And you don't like chewing, soy allergy, gluten sensitive. Um, are there any other like food preferences or... Um, things that you want at the party. Okay, cool. Well, thank you so much for helping me write this list. I really appreciate it. Um, so do you have plans for Halloween? Then you should come. You should really come because we're gonna have, um, food. And I know a lot of people don't want to spend their Halloween at the library, but, you know, I'm gonna be here, and um, my girlfriend's gonna be here, and I talk about you all the time to her, and I'd really like it if she got a chance um, to meet you, because I think you're really cool, and <laughs> I think that she would really like you too, and um, I think that we could all get along really, really well, and I'd just really love for you to come, um, because, you know, I always have to talk so quietly, around you, because we can really only talk during, like, quiet hour, quiet library hours, but it, I, I don't know, I'd love to get a chance to talk to you, um, kind of in a more, in a more casual setting, you know? Would you like that? That's good. I think you should definitely come, and, you know, it's probably mostly going to be employees, um, but I think it would be cool for the other employees to get to know you as well, because I do see you as, like, someone who would, like, maybe want to work here one day. Um, I know you keep telling me that you have another job, but I have a feeling you're not going to be working there for very long. Something just tells me that that's not going to work out great. Um, and that you might be working, um, like, like in the area soon, um, and like maybe that would be here, and I think it would be cool if you got to meet the other employees, because, um, I think that they would all really like you. I feel like you'd fit in. There's one other employee who I know has started Redwall, and there's also, um, another employee who is, um, who has celiacs, um, and so you and him might get along, and 
we have another employee who, um, who, like, also, um, I guess y'all, like, kind of have a similar aesthetic, um, so, like, maybe y'all could get along, um, and, you know, we're a pretty ragtag bunch, not, not that I think that you're ragtag, honestly, I think your presence could elevate us, because you read such big books, and you seem really smart, um, but I think that, um, everyone would really like you, and based on the conversations that we have, I feel like, um, you would really like them, and I think that you could just be a really good match here, so I'd really, really like to see you come to this, um, Halloween party, because I think we could have a good time. Um, also, uh, I know this is a little bit unprofessional. I'm so sorry. Did you want to get back to your book? You have a couple more minutes? Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I promise I'll get out of your hair really soon. I just have a lot to say today, I guess. Um, but, uh, I know this is a little bit un unprofessional, but I've been kind of waiting for you to come by the library again, because have a gift for you. Um, Halloween is my favorite holiday, um, so I like to get gifts for people on Halloween. I think I like it because you never, no one's, no one's ever, like, people don't take off work for it. Um, you know, and I've always liked being with my friends on Halloween, and, um, my friends have always been at work. Um, so I like that I'm never, like, told to take Halloween off. Um, sometimes people tell me to take off for, like, Christmas, and then I just get sad. Um, but anyway, I wanted to get you a gift for Halloween, and maybe I should wait until the party, but I'm not totally sure if you're gonna come yet, so, um, is it okay if I give it to you now? Okay, well, um... Has a bell on it, so I'm gonna kind of hold it because I don't want the bell to go up in the, in the library because there's other people reading. But I got you this little plushie, um, and yeah, this bell on the on the shirt is a little bit loud if I take my fingers off it. But it's a little um, jack o' lantern, not jack o' lantern, pumpkin cat. Um, I just saw it at the store, and I thought it was so cute, and it kind of reminded me of you, because I feel like you always look so cozy and comfortable whenever you're reading here. You get so lost in your books, and, um, I don't know, you just have, like, such a cozy, comfy aesthetic. I feel like I could, like, just sit next to you and watch you read and, like, get lost in time with you a little bit, you know? Um, if you ever want to read together, I'd really like that, but anyway, the way you get so lost and the way it seems like the hours can just pass you by kind of reminded me of a cat, and this is a cat, but it's like a Halloween cat, and, um, they're really, really soft if you want to feel them. Yeah, there you go. Aren't they soft? I know. Here, let me see them again. Um, their tail is like a wire, so you can kind of move it around a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, and they're just so soft. I love the way that their fur feels. I love the way their fur feels. Mm -hmm. I really like the way they did the pumpkin lines on them as well. It's really nice and here, I'll give them back to you so you can touch them. Um, anyway, though, I'd really love to see you um, at the Halloween party if you're not uh, too busy, or if you're not... I guess there's a possibility you might still be working on that day as well, but um, maybe not, um, and, um, I was just wondering, um, if you ever stole something 
from your job, what would you steal? No, I'm asking everyone Because I think all of us fantasize about it, right? So like um, At your current Workplace um, If you stole anything What would you steal? Okay, interesting No, that's good to know I mean, it's like, it's just interesting I think it's just interesting To know what people would take if they were to take something from their place of work. Hmm? Yeah, no, I have other friends. Uh, where'd that question come from? Yeah, I have plenty of friends. I have like, um, I mean, I have my girlfriend. Um, she wants me to have more friends, I think, because, um, because I she has a lot of friends um, I could I would love to tell you about her though she's really cool I could tell you everything about her I could tell her everything that I know about you I like to have facts about people and I like to tell people about other people I think some people think that that's a bad trait but I think it's a good trait because I think that it makes um, for good stories and you know I used to take part in LARPs and something that they said in LARPs is that um, a kept secret is a useless secret and I kind of use that in my day-to-day -day life. I feel like life is much more interesting and fun whenever we all tell things about each other to other people. I think that secrets make the truth useless. Um, anyway, um, you wanted to get back to reading your book? Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, you can go ahead and read. Um, just, can you? Um, I just really love to see what you, th what you think about, um, what happens to all of the characters. Yeah, okay, sorry, I'll, I'll get out of your hair now. I hope that you have a good rest of your book reading experience, and, um, I'll be right, you know, where I usually am, restocking, I mean, reshelving, um, or checking people out, um, you know where to find me if you need me, right? Maybe on Halloween.